Brother Anthony. Brother Anthony. I don't know if you know this, I don't know if you keep up with these kind of things, but you know, we have a South African comedian that's making it big worldwide. You know, his name is uh, 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 Trevor Noah. Yeah. He's been around for quite a while, we know him in South Africa. He has this really funny joke he does about King Omar, I'm going to tell right now. Anyway, he's doing this thing called, uh, called The Daily Show in, in the United States, in New York, you know. There's out of New York, this goes worldwide, because, you know, I catch little segments on the internet, because I don't have no DSTV at home, or nothing like that. I don't watch TV. But I caught this one segment he did, because, you know, big politics season is going on in the United States, it's going for about a year, two years, it goes long. But he did this thing on Donald Trump, because Donald Trump say all these outlandish things, you know. Anyway. He, then he said that, I guess he got staff writers, you know, because, you know, something like a big old show like that, they, they, he's just not doing it, writing himself. He got a lot of other people helping him, you know, doing writing with the staff writers. And so they did this thing about Donald Trump and how the people might not understand Donald Trump in the United States, but as far as Africa goes, because, you know, Trevor knows from Africa, because he has African roots. So he says that, like, oh, but Africa, we know people like this. So he brings up uh, Muammar Gaddafi. You know, he brings up uh, uh, Idi Amin, you know, Gaddafi from Libya, well, used to be, you know, peace and blessings on his soul. Uh, 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 the guy from Uganda, you know, the, the, uh, <coughs> you know, King of Scotland, that guy. Uh, then he brings up uh, your president, uh, Jacob Zuma, some things he said. And he brings up uh, Uncle Bob, uh, uh, president of Zimbabwe. Robert Mugabe. Now, it was going all right to me, you know, I can understand. Uh, uh, but you see, when you put, when you put Robert Mugabe and Jacob Zuma and Muammar Gaddafi in the same breath as the guy from Uganda, who I'm not going to name because I don't want to get in no trouble because, you know, he used to eat people, they tell me, you know, I don't know who was fighting him and nothing like that. Then you still on shaky ground. Now, I can sort of weirdly understand Muammar Gaddafi because Muammar Gaddafi came to the United States. He actually pitched a tent, as what they say, in the backyard of Donald Trump. So that sort of, that sort of goes, okay. But, you know, Robert Mugabe, he says about that. He just says some things, you know, whatever it is. But in the context of what he's saying, it, but then he, when you put it with Donald Trump, then it gets be kind of weird. Now, there's this thing in the black community that basically, you know, you can beat up on your somebody in your circle, some you know, like as you, you know, you know, if I beat up on somebody in my circle, it's fine. But the moment a gang or somebody from outside our circle beat up on somebody in our circle, well, you can't do that. We can beat them up, but you, you can't. So now we got to beat up those people because you mess with one of our guys. So in that kind of context, it's kind of strange with you know with Jacob Zuma and, and Trevor Trevor Noah because like you know that's his president. He's still a South African citizen, so, so, so he can, but then again, he can talk bad about him, but he's talking about it bad, not bad about him, but comparing Donald Trump in a worldwide context, so it gets sort of kind of weird, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, at the same time, we shouldn't be talking about Robert Mugabe, because, uh, hey, first of all, Robert Mugabe's still alive, and then the other thing is like, hey, that's your neighbor, and oh, I don't know, that's not you, you see? So it gets kind of confusing, especially with comedians. Comedians think they can get away with everything. In a certain sense, you know, you're supposed to, because you know, they show the light to the, you know, the absurdity of the world and all that sort of stuff. But I don't know, Trevor's, you know, da da da. Because he could have brought up, like, I don't know, Salvador Allende from, from Chile. He could have brought up the Shaw of Iran. He could have brought up some other people, you know, the guys in Jakarta and Indonesia. They, well, all, all those guys are dead. Yeah, some of them speak English, you know, so he could have. So, yeah, let's give a little time to see if he gets a worldwide focus. It's just going to be America. And Africa, I can see where he's going with that. But then again, I'm concerned about his staff writers. What do they look like? What's their agenda? Because they could, you see how this goes? It gets very, on a worldwide scale, it gets very tricky there. Anyway, this is just one of those dispatches from the horse director of America, so that would be me, T. Madison, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Mm -hmm.